Right, head is off the car. Now this car when it was cold would start sometimes only on three cylinders. Now, I don't know because it's been sat for so long, but I suspect that it was this one here. I know it was a problem with this front cylinder here. And this might well be where the gas head gasket was broken or blown or leaking and uh, causing the problem. But not too bad. Considering it's done about mm, how many miles has this car done? Let's have a look. Uh, 102,000 something. Now, I mean this gasket is torn here, you can see it's cracked, but is that actually, did, was that, you know, was that me ripping it, did I rip it, getting it off? Uh, the head's now going to be taken apart and we'll show you how to do that later. Right, so the head's off now and it's on my bench and uh, you can see the inlet manifold's already off. Now, I did take the precaution before I started doing it, about an hour ago, uh, to put some WD-40 on the bolts along here. But I've just tried one to get it off, and it's not budging. So, I have to show you, we'll use some heat to loosen that off, okay? So, I'm going to get my uh, fire extinguisher. And my blow lamp, and we'll move this clear of this wooden bench here as well. We'll slide this out a little bit further. You probably put a bit of cloth on there or something. Some damp rag. And uh, we'll get started. Well, luckily enough, most of the others wound off quite easily and I didn't have to heat all of them, otherwise it would have taken me ages. Now, the next stage is to take the camshaft off. Now, because these are held in place and it's sprung against the valve springs, whichever ones they're in contact with, you need to be careful and take the tension off evenly so that you avoid putting extra stress on there. see we've got markings one one these are all numbered so do remember keep them in the right order okay have a look at the inside the bearing surface that's where the oil seal sits but here's the the actual bearing surface itself and you can see that it's very smooth hardly anywhere on that so that's in really good condition so that's no problem if they look all scored and pitted and generally not very nice looking then you're probably not worth going any further and get yourself another cylinder head from somewhere else and you can see the running surfaces on the camshaft itself and also take that out of the way the running surfaces on the head itself will wipe the oil off that's very very tidy before we do anything else, you have to remember that all these eight belong to each other. They've all worn in together and they all match this head. So what I've done, I've got eight bags here. I've numbered them all. Okay, number one to eight. So what we do, I'm going to do it from here because that starts at number one there. And then I won't forget which way around I've done it. So 
these just pull out. Okay. And that piece of rubber as well, that is always worth changing because that helps to minimise your valve clatter. In fact, I'm surprised we even see that there after 100,000 miles. So, that's all off now. And we can see the tops of the valves are exposed now. Springs underneath here. So, what you need to do is to use your spring compressor. What it does is it squeezes this spring in here and it does that and the big bar or ring one one side and it pushes against the valve the other side my one looks a bit like this yours might be different so what you do is you put the flat end against the valve here Be as square as you can on this. So now we've got it with the spring compressor applied, and you can see that's what it looks like normally. And you can see it's all compressed and everything all ready to go. So all you need to do is a little screwdriver and separate the little collets out. One. second one that's it and then then okay and then you need to put these into keep all these as well I'll pick the other one off the floor in a minute and we'll put this into number one bag Number one, there we go. There's number one bag. I'll put them in there. And actually, I might as well take the valve out. Have a look at the seat condition. Can you see that? Not very easily. Very little burning. And uh, have a look at the valve as well. This engine's in good shape. Have you done a hundred thousand miles? I tell you, the valves are all out now. The only thing left to do now is to unhook these little lower valve seats as well. These can be very persistent sometimes, and you just tweak them out with a screwdriver. All right, and then you add them to the pot. There's an oil seal that sits on the on the inlet valves at the top of the valve guide, and here it is here. Throw them away. Put new ones of those in as well. Here it is. Just pings off the end. Ah, that would be why it didn't come off. There we are. Okay, I'll throw those away. Keep keep these. All right, in order. One, two, yeah. But to throw away those, uh, throw away these, uh... So, all we've got left to do now is tidy up the rest of these gaskets, get these bits and gaskets off. That's it. Take the plugs out, take the thermostat off, and take these two. This is just a tube, so that doesn't matter. Uh, but these sensors, because they I'm going to take it to the machine shop where they'll measure it and, um, flat and skim it for me but they they normally stick them in the degreasing bath for a couple of hours as well so not very compatible with electronic switches and sensors so we'll take all those out before it goes to the shop and then it's ready to go all packaged and ready to go now <laughs>